One of the cheapest Raspberry Pi 3B Plus custom cases with a fan with all three heat sinks and they're not that cheap stuff you typically see. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, put this together and as well as speed test it both at stock clock and overclocked with the overclocked CPU and GPU. Let the data speak for itself. All right, what's up YouTube? This is the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. A lot of the cases like Flurk and some other cases are gonna fit just fine on both the new Raspberry Pi B Plus as well as the Raspberry Pi 3B. So this is the one that's one point, uh, it's 1.4 gigahertz. Comes with a, this is what this kit is, is this is the iUniker nine layer Raspberry Pi case with cooling fan and heat sinks. This is on sale the other day, it was like $7 or $8 shipped. Um, comes with a nice small fan. The fan is a Pi fan, brushless fan. Uh, it's gonna be five volts at 0.1 amps, made in China. And uh, these are detached, so you have a couple of ways to run it on your GPIO pins. You can run it at the three volts or the five volts, depending on how fast you want it to spin and how loud you care to have it. Now, to get started off, it, this is interesting that it's already screwed together. Typically, when you get cases like this, they're not already screwed together. Like, you have to put it together yourself. It looks like it's already been pre-put together for you. So, it looks like there is some sort of skin on here, though. Let's go ahead and uh, unscrew this. So, it says, take off protective film. Looks like there's some film on here. Let's go ahead and get right that off. Okay, got one side off. Okay, so it's only got one side of protective film there. All right, we gotta remove this layer here. Okay, so remove the layer, put the pie board on the case. Okay, let's try it out. So typically you wanna build these uh, upside down, so I'm gonna try that. Something else I noticed is these heat sinks are massive. They got some nice, hunky heat sinks on here. All right, I am gonna put the heat sinks on because um, I wanna run a, uh, I think a lot of you are interested in what kind of temps this thing's gonna run, so let's just put everything on as if you were buying it, standalone, and uh, let's go ahead and put the heat sink on there. I have a little bit of heat sink paste left, but I'm just gonna smush it. All right, so big one goes there. All right, and then we got the RAM chip on the bottom. Okay, bottom three layers. So one, two. I'm just going in the same order it came when you got delivered. Two. Pi drops in now. All right, next layer. This is quite the uh, maze they got going on here. Okay, whoop. Okay, cool, so you still got a spot for your GPIO pins. Set up the fan on the top panel with the screws we provide in a separate package. Sure thing, dude. All right, we got the fan on. I imagine it's gonna go something like that once it's all done. I actually should have pointed it the other way, but it'll still work just fine. All right, and then red is gonna be second to last on the back, and then black is gonna be next to that one, which will be third in. Let's go ahead and go red and black. All right, we got that on. Let's go ahead and put this on. And then now we just gotta put on these little nuts. All right, now that thing's snug as heck. Now let's go ahead and finish off with the little pads on here. It's actually turning into a little cool little case. Still got wall mount potential. Cool, so there you go. All right. So there's the bottom. There's the top. Let's get some light in here. Boom, bright as hell. 
There's the top. Fan, you can still access the GPIOs. You can even sit, put something in the slot right here if you want. Bottom has the heat sink grips. You can still get into the micro SD card really easily. Fan and then ports. Easy access to all the ports. Got a little bit of a gap at the top of your uh, at the top of your LAN port. That's about it though. Cool little case, very compact. And for the price, the price is right. This should be done in just a second and then we're gonna check the temps. Stock clock with a fan, heat sinks, Raspberry Pi 3 B+. There it is. Oh, I don't want to install. All right, we had uh, 42.9 and 40. Now we're down to 39, 38, 38. So really fast cooldown. So up to about 42. I'm gonna run that one more time. Yeah, up to 47, but I'm gonna see a huge drop really fast. So you can see it drop pretty quick. That fan's working good. So let's go ahead and overclock now. All right, stock with the overclock. A little hotter, a little hotter. Um, let's go ahead and uh, check our thermals here. Check our check. Make sure we're overclocked, right? You guys want some uh, accurate data here. So. All right. Well, you can see we're at 1.5 gigahertz from the uh, 1.4. All right, let's just double check our temps really quick. And go for a run. Boom. Four. All right, let's check it. Goes down pretty quick. Okay, it stays at <laughs> at 39.7. So um, not too shabby. I mean, that's plenty fine for the Raspberry Pi. You know, those temps aren't going out of control at all. This case is doing a good job cooling. We've got the heat sinks and the fan. So there you have it. Overall, really happy with the results. You can run this at 1.5 gigahertz all day, any day. The fan is medium. I know I've heard much louder fans. I've also heard quieter fans, but I am running the fan at 5 volts. I think if I wanted it a little sh quieter, I can run it at the 3 volts. Also, it's right next to me where most of you might have your Pi a little further away from you and it's pretty much non-existent. With all that said, I got to thumbs this up for the price. It's really good. Um, it's, it doesn't look fantastic but it also doesn't look bad either I think it's a great middle of the road case if you're interested there's a bunch of different configurations I'll put links in the description don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one